This problem is about laws of thermal emission. This problem is asking us to calculate the peak wavelength from the sun, given that its surface temperature is 5,700 Kelvin. So we're going to need to find out about the peak wavelength, and we're going to need to use this temperature of 5,700 Kelvin. So if we look at the equations that we have for the thermal laws of light, one is called Wien's law. Wien's law looks like this. That's a lambda. Let me write max. Lambda stands for wavelength. Max means maximum. So this is the maximum or peak wavelength. And it depends on this number, which is a constant. It's always, always the same number, 2.9 million, or 2.9 times 10 to the sixth. Just divided by temperature. This is a pretty simple law. It's also what's called an empirical law, which means it's based on observations. It's correct, but when you try to put your temperature in here and you look at the units of Kelvin on temperature, there are no units on this constant, and so the units don't cancel out, which can be kind of frustrating. In these empirical laws, often that's the case that the units don't work out quite right. Instead, we are just going to have to ignore the units and know that the answer is going to come out in nanometers. So let's, let's go ahead and calculate this. The lambda max equals 2.9 million all divided by 5,700 Kelvin, and I'm not going to write the K for Kelvin because, again, as an empirical law, the units don't cancel in this equation. So when I do this math, this division, I find out that the peak wavelength is 508.8, .8, and the units are nanometers. And those units, that's just something I know about Wien's Law. Whenever you look up Wien's Law, they would tell you um, what the units are going to turn out to be since you can't cancel units through the equation. So 508.8 .8 nanometers, about 509 nanometers. The color that corresponds to that, that's, that's visible light, and it corresponds to roughly green, kind of greenish. So the brightest color of light that the sun emits is green, but the sun looks white or maybe yellowish white to our eyes because the sun is also emitting a lot of other colors, including a lot of reds and yellows. So when they all blend together in your eye, they look to be sort of a white color or like I said, maybe a yellowish white. So we finished this problem. Um, to be complete, you would want to make sure that you could put this answer in a sentence. A good sentence would be something like the peak wavelength emitted from the sun is around 509 nanometers.